All right. So David Brower or Brower? Maybe Brower. Huh. I guess I don't know. Crap. And I'm really good at saying, I'm supposed to be really good at saying last names. That one should be easy. Brower. Brower. Brower, David Brower, Brower, you would think that'd be so simple, I'm guessing Brower, but that's just, int that's interesting, because I, th I think we've said this in a previous, um, probably in a previous 2020 insight, but like, just at some point in Maybe the latter, I want to say the latter, latter days of, because we're still on call for Dollar Tree, but this wasn't right away at Dollar Tree. It was later on in our working at Dollar Tree that we discovered that we are really good at saying people's last names. And, and that's like a gift we can give to people almost like, because some people just haven't had their last names pronounced. Sometimes I feel like even... Some people don't even get their, like, first name spelled right. I feel like I've seen that before, too. And that, not that, but as far as Dollar Tree, we just have learned that, like, apparently we ha we're we really good at, like, pronouncing people's last names right. And that's that can be special to people because some people just don't get their last names spelled pronounced right over the course of their life um and again i think we've probably mentioned this before but just not as a focus um but um i mean that's cool that we have something that can make someone feel special and also interesting that we i feel like we may have just discovered that this year like or at least like if we've ever been aware of this like at least appreciate it at this level or understood what that could mean to someone this at that level um hasn't been till this year um And then, like, people also, like, when you spell their first names right, um, I don't know if that makes people feel, like, special as much as, I don't know. But that's something that we also do sometimes. Outside of this year, just in the past, I feel like there's times that we're able to maybe spell someone's first name right or something. And... Maybe that normally doesn't happen for them. I don't know. But the last name thing is this year. And, but yet here's like a simple last name. There should be. And I don't know how to say it. I'm thinking Brower though. And that's just, that's just, crazy that like again and I think and I think this is part of what kind of a point that we noted maybe yes maybe in yesterday's video at one small part of that video maybe either yesterday or the day before that like it's I don't know I mean I don't know how we worded it yesterday or whatever or whatever but I feel like it overlaps what I'm about to say with whatever it is that we pointed out um, at one point, either yesterday or the day before. But, like, there's just little things that can, like, be so big.
Like, that's a little thing to be able to have a higher ability than most, I guess, to, to pronounce someone's last name. And that, that actually is special to someone, to people in a way. I mean, I don't know that it's, like, the most, like, the biggest thing, but it's, like, it's you. It's at least, like, a little point of interest. I don't know, it's, at least you can offer them a unique moment in where they've normally had their own name, like, their last name normally mispronounced, and then to just be able to get it off the, off the go. Like, it may not hugely make someone's day, but... Maybe a little something. And then on the on the flip side of that, imagine discovering that when you're already when you've already been in the world for twenty nine years or twenty eight years or whatever. I don't know. One side of things is that like in life. It just takes a small thing, like just on the on the topic of small things. It it is a thing. There is the idea that like anything can happen to anyone, and like just a little thing could change your life, for good or for bad. Like there was a friend last night that was talking about how he had a friend that was like beat to death, this year, and it's the first time. Not the first time, but in the last four years is the first time in his all his life that he's experienced um, people close to him dying. And like for us, I think last year is was a year of like experiencing people that we actually. But then it's not perfectly black and white, because then even in, in high school or so, I think there was someone that we knew that committed suicide and that mattered to us or we wanted it to matter to us. And it was weird to us how, like, everyone in, like, how everyone just moved on. Like, that high school teacher, Mr. Modine, um, I think it was high school. And then, like, just, just everyone, how everyone, how we are just supposed to, like, move on. Like, we didn't, we just moved on with our day. And, like, that was weird to me back then. So, technically, I mean, that's, and I, I'd seen the guy, Jonathan. So, like, so that, I mean, I don't know if I'd ever talked to him, but I I think I'd, I think, like, I was aware of him, you know, um, but anyway, back to that friend who this year experienced, um, even though it's not, it's not like that's the first time that he experienced death was his friend getting beat to death this summer. It doesn't sound like that's the first time he's experienced death, but like this last four years or so, um, I guess if I'm understanding or not, I guess, but like, um, this last four years is where he started to experience death more. Whereas before, I think these last four years, that's not something he normally experienced. And for us, even though there's that example when we're really young and, um, and, um, technically even before last year, even though last year was really like, there are at least a couple people close to us that died and then at least one other that like mattered. There is a few, there's two or more. There were some death situations last year, um, but even before that, XXX Tentacion dying, that celebrity mattered to us, that hit us, and um, please stay up, make moves if you want to, <laughs> but, um, and that XXX Tentacion would have been like, I think 2018, um, But anyway, point being that that friend this summer had someone close to them that he pretty much considered a, bro a brother, like, 
he lost that friend. He lost that, that like, brother, in a sense. And, like, there's, there's hor- there are horrible and or great things that can happen that maybe could just, maybe could just change a person's world. But, like, I mean, how, what are the chances that that's actually going to happen for someone? I suppose the longer you live, more chance of it happening. Maybe. So we're so we're 29. What are things that have happened that have just like changed our world? Um I think the biggest one would be with the YMCA and with um all that stuff in 2016 that that for good and for bad, just that, <laughs> I think that's the biggest, the biggest um, thing. Because that led to, that led to a restraining order, which is something we never would have envisioned for ourselves. That led to a day in jail. That led to, um, Banned from Furka wasn't our first hundred video series, so it's, but it led to Banned from Furka, which was a series that like we we believed in so much that we were like, if we were to die, that's this is what we leave behind to the world. And then in rewatching it to make anything could happen to anyone, um, it like it doesn't fu- it doesn't fully meet expectations, but at least earlier on in watching the Banned from Furka series as part of making anything can happen to anyone. Um, I remember earlier on and just watching the first, it was probably into the teens, like, I don't know how far, but I think maybe part 19 in the Band for Furco series was the first, whichever one was the playlist, was the one where it was, like, weird. But that could kind of make sense because I was talking about stuff that, like, was, like... um novel territory in a sense to talk about stuff that way or whatnot but it might have been that video where it was like uh (laughs) this that things are to seem to fall off but and then in in the 30s or something there is a video that also was off and then the one that was titled god's lightning and 40 something perhaps was off but then cardiac arrest was dope in the 70s or whatever and but anyway before before whichever one is the playlist whether it's 19 or somewhere in the teens before that we were so impressed by um in our re-watching the series up to that point that we're like why are we even like living like how are we ever gonna like beat this like <laughs> but then things fell off with when we got to the playlist, whatever number that was, probably in the teens, and then in like the thirtieth video, um, and yeah, but anything can happen to anyone. Came out of the band for Virgo experience. So that's a good, and that's like, in rewatching some of those to clear up space in our phone last year, that's, that was like prophetic. Like that's, granted, there's stuff on our face sometimes or in our beard or whatever sometimes, but that series is like on point. So, and that wouldn't have happened besides Perco stuff happening, but getting dismissed from the counseling program, that's off of YMCA stuff. Um. So yeah, and that what a what a weird crossroad to be like to find by or to feel. So we have already experienced that anything can happen to any one moment. 
Like, we're not so... I would have never, like, or I don't know, like, a restraining order? Like, that's not something I would have envisioned for myself. Yet it happened. And... I don't know if I've ever thought about, like, jail or something, but, like, granted, that was just a day, but, like, so we've already, we've already had, and then on top of that, we, life just keeps giving more lemons, like, all this stuff in, in the recent weeks that we were struggling with, and then all, whatever other, because it's really just cyclic, that there's difficult seasons, like, I don't know if people, it might just be that people aren't honest about the the cyclic, the cyclic nature of challenges, because it's like, it comes back around where it's like, oh, I'm in, going, where people ask, how are you, and it's like, oh, just and struggling with something and it's like we used to think that it should almost be the case that like there's like if I if we respond that it's a difficult season to someone that like that should just be like a one time thing but it's cyclic like there's many difficult seasons I think that's how it is for anyone. So I guess we've we've already had our anything can happen to anyone moment. But then we also have in a good way. And that's also in that same year, I think. Well, depending where we want to count as the start date for the Furco stuff, but 2016 with that April 10 weekend, like, what God did with that, like, that's something that not everyone gets, like, that's special. So we've experienced good and bad of that, of of anything can happen to anyone. tonight anymore that's 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 uh that's rough and we suck at talking